Hey guys, welcome back to Crypto TV. This is Ayushi Verma from Invest to Learn Academy, and today I'm here to present the technical analysis outlook for the two major cryptocurrencies, which are Bitcoin and Ethereum. So I'll be looking at the daily chart, and we will be talking about, we'll be looking at few technical indicators and try to understand what the charts are telling us technically. So let's quickly start it with the Bitcoin first. So currently, if you look at the market price, which is trading at thirty thousand three hundred, so we have uh, you know seen this thing uh, from i think from past one month or so that uh, the price is just taking a support of uh, 29140 levels and even you know in the recent times uh, the price actually tried to uh, break this particular level but you know unable to do that so uh, because of that you know because now uh, every time the buyers are there and they are just taking up a support there and uh, now we are getting a little upside momentum uh, if we talk about today's momentum so it's uh, up by more than 3% and uh, we might able to get more clarity you know by the end of the day but as of now it's uh, up by more than 3% so if the upside needs to continue we will able to see a trend reversal but if you talk about the current situation so uh, we are in a negative trend or a down trend as of now looking at the rsi which is at 45 so again you know because the price is slightly going up so rsi is also going up and it's currently at 45 now looking at the moving averages so 50 ema is at 33930 and 100 ema is at 37285 200 EM is at 40,635. Now looking at the support and resistance levels, support one is at 29,140. Support two is at 25,823. Resistance one is at 32,330, and resistance two is at 35,335. Let's quickly move on to the chart. So this is the chart, and if you look at the closer, oh, give me a second. Yes. So if you look at the closer look here. So after this fall, you can see the price is somewhat taking up a support here. So if you you know look at these two three candles, you can see that the you know sellers were there because uh, th that's the reason you know you can see a fall and at this level also they tried to push down the price but they unable to do so. And if you look at uh, the last three days momentum, so you can see that uh, one day it is up by one and a half percent. another day it is up by uh, which is you know yesterday it is up by another 1.5% and today it is up by 3% so this is something you know you can see that uh, the buyers are taking up a charge but we are not sure as of now you know technically if you look at the trend so we are not sure but one thing which looks good here is that the if the, you know till the time the price is not breaking this 29140 levels we can say that any time we might get a reversal and if the price breaks this level we will definitely see a good fall in the upcoming day so that is something you know you can look at uh, the bitcoin thing and from now onwards if you see that the buyers will take up a charge so one thing the first thing that you should look at the price should break and close above the 32330 levels and if that happens you will definitely see more upside momentum so that is something you know becomes a very very important resistance uh in the recent few times so if the price closes above that you know you will see a reversal from there so that is something you can look at the bitcoin and if you look at the ethereum almost a similar situation is there So currently it's trading at one eight eight zero at eighteen hundred eighty levels. Still the uh, the trend is negative. However, the same thing is happening here. Uh, from you know I think two three days uh, uh, the the past uh, two three days we can see a small upside momentum in the price, and uh, you can see the RSI which is at thirty eight. Looking at the moving averages, so fifty EM is at two thousand three hundred sixty five. 100 EM is at 2650 and 200 EM is at 2880 now there is no change in the support and resistance levels so support 1 is at 1724 support 2 is at 1510 resistance 1 is at uh, 2145 and resistance 2 is at 2336 let's see the chart okay Now this is the chart, and you can see that uh, the price after a fall, and it did I think uh, oh, uh, just went down to 1700 level as well. And even you know if you look at these two red candles, uh, which which had good uh, fall, and then after that particular time they just took a support here, and you know that was due uh, you know for a long time because the price was uh, holding up this uh, 1950 levels. 
So now, the, since the price has already reached to the important support of 1725, and now from now onwards, we can see a upside momentum. So just, uh, you know, uh, uh, just uh, I think um, on 28th of May, it was up by 4%. Then uh, yesterday it was up by 1% and today it is up by more than 3% or, or around 4% only. So again, you know, we can we are not sure about today's momentum because the market is still open and uh, we can get a confirmation by the end of the day once the closing happens and if the price ables to break uh, 1950 levels, you might see that the price might able to go to 2145 levels. So this is something, you know, you can look at and one thing looks interesting here that the every time you know after this fall every time from the past two three days you can see that the volumes are slightly increasing and the buyers volumes are more than the sellers uh, volume so this is something looks good for the ethereum and uh, you know we just need to uh, have some confirmation and if uh, that confirmation comes then uh, you know we might be able to get a clarity on the trend uh, direction so this is how basically we conduct these two cryptocurrencies analysis every day and i hope you are learning something so thank you so much for watching us